What we're seeing at the moment is this, chaos, desperation and dead bodies. And we've shown all of this to you. Tonight, we'll take you inside the Kabul airport, the symbol of the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. Vion is the only network from this part of the world that has managed to get access to the airport. And the pictures are telling. I want to begin by showing you one picture in particular. On your screen is the man who used to lead the Afghan forces. His name is Wali Muhammad Ahmad Zai. He was removed when the Taliban took Ghazni. Ahmad Zai served as the Afghan army chief for barely a month. Where is he now? He was seen waiting in a line outside the Kabul airport, the Afghan army chief. Just like the thousands of Afghans who are desperate to leave the country. The chaos continues outside the Kabul International Airport. Afghans are still pouring in. More than 16,000 people were evacuated in the last 24 hours. But the crowds are still swelling at the gates. Now look at what's happening inside the airport. Last week, the same tarmac was flooded with hundreds of Afghans. They were running around, desperately trying to board a flight. None of that now. The American forces have taken complete control of the airport alongside their Western allies. They control the entry points. And there are seven of them at the Kabul airport, seven entry points. And those who manage to get inside are truly lucky because even after eight days, the Western forces have not been able to streamline the evacuation process. There are thousands of Afghans who want to leave the country. Not everyone can get out though. Because it's the Americans who are running the evacuation and they're only pulling out those Afghans who worked for the US forces, like as translators and interpreters. And even then there is no guarantee Afghans cannot just walk into the airport to claim a seat on a flight. Even those who fit the US eligibility criteria, they can't just walk in. They first need to apply for a special immigrant visa. Then they must wait for their name to appear on a list and only then are they allowed inside this heavily fortified airport. Having a visa is no guarantee of entry. They might struggle to get inside, one, because the airport gates are so crowded, and two, because the Taliban don't want them to leave. They're making it harder for Afghans to exit. They're guarding the road leading up to the airport. They're blocking Afghans from reaching the airport gates. Our correspondent Anas Malik was inside the airport today, the Kabul airport, when hundreds of Afghans were boarding an evacuation flight. Here is what he saw. I'm standing at the military side of the uh, Kabul International Air, uh, Airport. Behind me is the line which is leading towards this aircraft. Uh, to my left is the aircraft, which is there. And people in numbers, hundreds in hundreds are leaving today. These are the passengers, 261 uh, are on board on, of this aircraft. All of them are Afghans in hope, in despair, uh, the, to flee to a safer destination. They are of the opinion that they're very sad that they never wanted to leave but they do not have an, uh, have an option to actually live within the country given the, given the Taliban's takeover. They aspire to be back one day to serve their country in a better manner. The grief of the Afghans was visible. They were relieved to get on a flight, but also sad to be leaving their home. It's understandable. It can't be easy for anyone. My country, this is my homeland. And because of Taliban, the government we want to leave the country. It is very sad uh, to leave my country, uh, but there was no way uh, without leaving my country because the situation in Afghanistan is getting worse day by day. And there are a lot of, uh, uh, there are a lot of rumors, uh, there are a lot of reports that journalists, uh, media activists, social activists are going to be targeted. I'm leaving my family, my, uh, my home, my career, my everything behind. Because those voices echo what millions of Afghans are feeling today. They're lucky to have a chance to flee. About 50,000 foreign nationals and Afghans have managed to leave so far, while thousands more are waiting, desperately looking for a way to get inside that airport. And they're not the only ones who are struggling. Governments around the world are struggling to get their citizens out of Afghanistan. Earlier today, a Ukrainian minister made a major claim. He said that one of the Ukrainian evacuation flights was hijacked at gunpoint and flown to Iran. Kiev later denied that this happened. It says the minister was just trying to describe the difficulties faced by the Ukrainian pilots during the evacuation. It's hard to verify who is giving the accurate version now. But it's safe to say that chaos and fear reign supreme. 
And this is happening when Western forces are running the Kabul airport. Wait till the Taliban take charge. There's no saying what happens then. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.